Now we are going to discuss a 3 phase inverter with 120 degree conduction mode. In this, each thyristor will be conducting for 120 degrees. So the circuit is the same. The only thing is that the sequence at which or the degree to which we are firing the thyristors is being controlled in the case of 120 degree conduction mode. So as in the first case, we are firing on the thyristor T1. It will conduct for 120 degrees. And then for the next 60 degree, none of the thyristors will be conducting. That is neither T1 or T4 from the upper half or the lower half. So I will be moving it as a hashed portion. Then T4 is triggered. It will conduct for 120 degrees. And for the next 60 degrees, that is from 300 to 360 degrees, none of the thyristors either T1 or T4 will be conducting. So again T1 it will conduct for 120 degrees and next 60 degree neither thyristors will be conducting. Then after T1 is fired that is at 120 degrees I will be firing the thyristor T3 from the upper half. So this T3 will also conduct for 120 degrees. And next 60 degrees neither thyristors T3 or T6 will be conducting. So again T6 conducts for another 120 degrees and next 60 degrees none of the thyristors will be conducting. And after that again T3 turns on. So previous to T3, for this third 60 degrees, neither the resistors will be conducting and here it will be T6. Now after T3 is being conducted for 120 degrees, you will be firing the thyristor T5 from the upper half. It will conduct for 120 degrees and for next to 60 degrees, neither of the thyristors will conduct that is T5 or T2. Then after that T2 will conduct for 120 degrees. So previous to T5, neither of the thyristors will be conducting during this period and during this time T2 will be conducting. Again I can draw like this. So during the period from 0 to 60 degree, thyristors 1 and 6 are conducting from 60 to 120 degrees. 1 and 2 are conducting from 120 to 180, 2 and 3 are conducting, 180 to 40, 3 and 4 are conducting, 240 to 300, 4 and 5 are conducting, and for next period it is 5 and 6 are conducting. So, this is the complete 6 step operation. You can see that only one thyristor from the upper half and one thyristor from the lower half is conducting at a time. But in the case of 180 degree conduction mode, it was three thyristors were conducting at a time and here it is only one thyristor from the upper half, one thyristor from the lower half is conducting at a time. Now we will be drawing it for the first step that is 1 to uh, 0 to 60 degrees, 1 and 6 are conducting. So therefore this is the equivalent diagram of the conducting SCS when T1 and T6 are conducting. So here you can observe 1 and 6 are conducting and other thyristors are in the turned off position. So this is a simplified diagram of this complete set of diagram where we are considering only the conducting SCS. So from 0 to 60 degree 1 and 6 are conducting. So 1 and 6 and this is the terminal A, this is B and this is C. I will mark it again over here A, B and C. So here you can say that plus terminal is connected to the point A. So this is point A and this is the neutral point 0. So I will mark it over here. So from Vs plus A, Z, 0, Z, B then to the point 6. So this is 
B. So these are the impedances Z, and since these two impedances are the same, the voltage drop across this will be Vs by two, and here also it is Vs by two. Therefore, V A naught is equal to Vs by two, and V O B is also Vs by two. So therefore, I can mark V B O as minus Vs by two, and V C O in this case is zero because none of the resistors in the leg connected to the point C is in the on condition. Now we need to find out the corresponding line voltages. So it is V A B is equal to V A naught minus V B naught, which is equal to V S by two minus of minus V S by two, which is equal to V S. Similarly, V B C equal to V B naught minus V C naught, which is equal to minus V S by two plus minus Vc not is zero, so it is minus Vs by two, and similarly, Vca is equal to Vc not minus Va not, which is equal to zero of minus Vs by two, which is equal to minus Vs by two. So we need to draw Va not, Vb not, Vc not, and Vab, Vbc, and Vca in the waveform graph. So now you need to draw the corresponding waveform from zero to sixty degrees. That is the step one. So V A naught is V S by two. So this is plus V S by two. During that time, V B naught is minus V S by two. So this is minus V S by two. This is zero. This is zero. And V C O is zero during that period, and therefore V C O is zero. Now you need to draw the line voltages V A B. V A B is V S. So V A B is plus V S. So I will mark it over here like this. Next is V B C, which is minus V S by two. So this is zero. This is minus V S by two. Next, I need to plot V C A. V C A is again minus. V S by two. So for V C A, it is also minus V S by two. So that we have marked the corresponding waveforms for the period from zero to sixty degrees. Next, we will be finding it for step two, from sixty to one twenty volt resistors one and two are conducting. Now. We need to draw it for the step two, that is 60 to 120 degrees. We have drawn like this. One and two are conducting. So here you can observe that V S plus C is connected to thyristor one, then to the point A, then to the point O, then the only path is to go through C to this point to thyristor T two to the negative of the supply. So you can draw it over here. So this is A, this is O, and this is C, and these are the impedances. And this is plus, and this is minus, and the voltage across the device is V S by two, and here also it is V S by two. So V A naught is nothing but V S by two, V O C is nothing but V S by two, which indicates V C O is nothing but minus V S by two. And since none of the resistors in the branch B is conducting, therefore V B not is equal to zero. Now we need to draw the line voltages V A not minus V B not, which is equal to V S by two minus zero, which is equal to V S by two. Similarly, V B C equal to V B not minus V C not. This V S by two is equal to V S by two. Just substituting it, you can get it.
so we have the waveforms voltage values va not vc not vb not vab vbc and vca which will be plotted over the waveform so from 60 60 to 120 degrees va not is vs by 2 so va not is vs by 2 During that time, V C naught is minus V S by two. Minus V S by two. Then V B naught is zero. So from minus V S by two, it comes to zero. So during that interval, V A B is plus V S by two. So from Vs, it comes to Vs by 2. Next Vbc is Vs by 2. So here from minus Vs by 2, it goes to plus Vs by 2. Next is Vca is minus Vs. So Vca from minus Vs by 2 it goes to minus Vs so now we have plotted it for 60 to 120 degrees in the similar fashion you need to plot it for 3, 4, 5 and 6 steps shows the complete set of waveforms Va0, Vb0, Vc0, Vab, Vbc and VCA. So here you can observe that the line voltages they are being phase shifted by 120 degrees. So you can just observe it over here. So this is the zero point if you are reference point if you are taking for VBC, VCA is coming after 120 degrees. And the phase voltages it is having either values of plus Vs by 2 or minus Vs by 2 but the line voltages it is Vs my plus Vs by 2 then again minus Vs by 2 and again minus Vs so this is how the total explanation of your three phase bridge rectifier with 120 degree conduction mode so you can see that only one set from the upper half and the lower half comes into picture only two thyristors will be conducting at a time when compared to the 180 degree mode of operation thank you